take you through, or been asked to come in by the CEO to take you through uh, crisis management. Um, main aim of that, the objectives, is basically to, to check communication between each individual departments uh, and scrutinise the way you basically do business. And the way we're going to do that is by running a, a, a small crisis management exercise. And that's going to test your communications across all levels, procedures, uh, your resilience, regards, finance and reputation, uh, and, and basically an overall all look of all your departments. And I'm Distribution is enabled by Dr. Nick Lawson. Okay. So, yes, sir. I like that. Yeah, we've got 10 15 minutes yeah. to get there. Yeah. Because the money's can't go any quicker than that. Give him another. George, what was our skeleton staff? How many staff had we had when we started? We had five, uh, five minimum skeleton staff to keep basically. We've got 20 staff. 20 staff, right. staff right. Right. right, one thing we need to consider is what time, how long have the trucks been sat there waiting to load? Media and Twitter. Defective yeah, medical equipment in NHS hospitals. Um, that's been supplied through yourselves, BBC, it's just flashed up on the TV. Can you tell me where you got that from, please? Is it a credible source? So you received it from social media, so you can't confirm that, that is a credible source. That's just a rumor, and you flashed it up on the TV, which is risking our reputation. I'll get me in touch with our legal department about that, okay? I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Again, thank you very much for your attention. Just so you're aware, obviously, in lieu of the legal department and the compliance director, and I will uh, endeavour to answer any questions you have. Have you got any assurances the equipment you're now putting in the NHS hospitals in Newcastle? The rest of the country actually works. We've never had an issue previously with any of our equipment, and there's no credible source saying that there's anything wrong with our. At the warehouse, yeah? yeah. Right. Speak to the staff. Yeah, obviously. I'll have a look, I'll have a look now whether that's breach of contract. Well, can't, can't imagine okay. the temp staff wanting to look down to the temp staff. Right, if we've got temp yeah, yeah, staff, yeah, yeah, no, we've, 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 we've got five skeletons. Five. It's possible that they could walk just because they would have some, you know, some bias. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not temp yeah. yeah. staff. Yeah. We've got 15 of our staff. We have 20 of our staff in the contract to yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I'll be speaking to legal, I'll be checking the contracts because, as far as I'm concerned, that's breach of service agreement walking off work. Right? Doesn't solve the problem, but I'll get on my job. Just to let you know, uh, we were given an anonymous tip off that uh, there was some illegal immigrants working in your warehouse in Bristol. We have now uh, raided that facility and taken four illegal immigrants that we did, we are now detaining in uh, the local police station in Clifton. Um, when, uh, at the time of those four uh, individuals being taken, they were wearing your company T-shirts with your company logo on. So we are obviously ascertained that they were your workforce. Uh, we have found that all four of them have not got passports, they have not been through any of our borders, hence we did the dynamics on them and they haven't been through the airport, they haven't been through uh, a, a, a seaport. So we're now ascertaining that those are illegals into the country. We are now going to interview them. I'm now going to tell you that obviously this will have implications Something that we all together are not really good at is dealing with the media. I mean, I've only ever done it once in my life, proper dealt with the media, stood there and have to say things because you know where they're trying to, they're trying to make you say that one or two words that they can put in the song. To, and you, irrespective of what you wanted to say, then you've said them and they will ask those leading.